Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from Edward, that's a big ad collection set and it is designed for use with P61B in 172nd scale from Hobby Boss. So as you can see there are three sets inside and now we are going to check it closer. <clears throat> First of all let me apologize for my throat because I'm feeling a bit ill, so that's why I might be a bit coughing during this review. Nevertheless, let's go for the review. This is a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same uh, packaging, exactly the same contents if you order it directly from Edward website, official one. And as you can see, uh, we have this nice uh, red colored design on the front with this knight, which is a sign of the Edward. And on the rear side, we have some examples of this sets, PE sets applied on the model. So now I'm going to use scissors in order to cut through the uh, gluing tape and we will check closer what is hidden inside and why this set <clears throat> will be handy for those who would like to build P61 in 172nd scale. So just give me a second. We are going to cut through all of this tape and we will be good to go. Okay, so it is not that difficult to open, I would say. And as you remember, we have three sets inside. So here are two, and the third one is here. So what we have here is PE set for exterior of this aircraft, also separate set for interior, and also mask set, which you can see here on the top. So I would like to start with this one. That's an interior set for P61. And of course in 172nd scale from Hobby Boss. And packaging is quite typical, so we are going to open it and check the spruce closer. So just give me a second. In total there are two P frets, one pre-painted and one which is finished in traditional golden color. And in the middle, as far as you can see, we also have the assembly manual. So just give me a second. <clears throat> of course, all those parts are insured with cardboard, as you can see, it is inserted inside so that you won't get any bent parts. First of all, I would like to take a look at the pre-painted PE thread. So let's focus the camera and now you should be able to see it. Obviously here we have various parts for the dashboard and also pilot seat. This, for example, seat belts should be a noticeable upgrade even once on the second scale so it's worth using them in your build and the same can be said about the dashboard because original kit is not that detailed and just to remind you thickness of these parts looks like this so this is a pre-painted P thread but also we have the one which is finished in traditional golden color let's focus the camera once again and here you can see it so those parts will be used for internal structure for various, I think those will go for the wheel wells and you will have to do plenty of bending because otherwise you won't get the final appearance but it will be worth it. So let's check assembly manual. With assembly manual uh, the most interesting thing in my opinion is that all P assembly manuals and also resin assembly manuals are painted with hand. Those are not PC drawings, those are actually created with pencil on the paper and then scanned or digitized into those assembly manuals. That's quite impressive and it amazed me when I heard it first time. So here you can see first upgrade, you have to cut those uh, seat holders and upgrade them with PE parts. Then we continue with installation of the pilot seat on the floor. And next we also cut off the pedals, which look ugly on the original plastic and we can agree on this. And we replace them with plastic parts. The same goes with dashboard because you have to send whole dashboard and apply um, PE dashboard. Here on the control column you have to apply some minor elements. And next we use seat belts for other seats. <clears throat> Here you can see minor upgrades. Here we go with um, cockpit walls, which are plain on the original plastic. 
but with help of PE parts we will be able to get something different. Next we update the columns, side columns, because as you can see, <coughs> sorry, uh, you will have to uh, erase or send off all those promoted parts and replace them with better looking PE parts and believe me it will be noticeable once you install those parts so it's definitely worth investing time in this. And on the other side we continue with installation process so we upgrade these various panels in the cockpit, we also upgrade those um, devices on the walls. We continue with nose area where we again install seat belts on the pilot seat. Actually, that's not the pilot seat, it's navigator seat. Here we upgrade the internal structure, but I'm not sure what is it used for. Because as you can see, all those parts will have to be bent. Moreover, you should use the ball, paint, uh, ball pen in order to replicate this cross in the middle of this part. But the final appearance should be quite nice looking. Um, interior of this aircraft. So that's just the first set and next we have exterior set. It is also packed into this in the similar way here you can see it. So let's open it and check what we get here. <clears throat> okay so first of all we get um, P fret which is finished in traditional golden color and next we have assembly menu. So first of all, let me show you assembly manual. With assembly manual, as you can see, uh, we start with upgrade of this uh, nose area ports. Then we can continue with nose landing gear leg. Here we upgrade the engine. As you can see, those lines will be visible, so it's worth adding them. Air intake, the same can be said about this area. Um, next we go with Bombay. Also, again, landing gear legs, those are the main ones, so you will have to repeat it twice. And on the other side we have upgrade for the wings and also for those air intakes. As you can see, they will be replicated with quite complex structure. And now we can move on to this PE fret. So here it is, let's focus the camera and flip it over like this. So here we have all those parts which will be used for what we just saw in the assembly manual. So be sure to be careful, especially with those, for example, brake lines or those engine ignition lines, because those are really thin parts and here you can see comparison with my hand. So you have to use some sharp tweezers and sharp knife in order not to bend or break some of those elements. Be careful with this. And next Last but not the least is the mask set for this kit, which comes in form of this nice small upgrade. Of course it will be handy if you uh, remember original plastic does not include any masks inside, so you will have to either cut them with your own hands or maybe to buy such an upgrade set, but here you get it as an additional bonus, so it's really cool. So first of all I would like to show you the mask sheet and then we will check assembly menu. So here it is. Um, this product is traditional for Edward, so we get pre-cut masks as you can see. This should be easy to apply on the model and of course they will speed up the painting process because you won't have to cut all those uh, small squares just to apply on the model. And why this mask set is also useful because we have masks not only for the canopy, but here you can see that they will be applied also on the landing gear wheels. So that you can get a more precise and more realistic finish. And here you can see the guide for the masks application on the canopy. That will be quite a stuff to do. So take your time, do not hurry, and then you will have a nice result. But definitely this set will be useful in the, uh, in the build. So that's all for this video review. I don't see any other additional uh, sets in this set. In three sets are included in this Big Ed collection. Just to remind you, if you get them with Big Ed collection, you also save some money. So it's really worth getting them all together than just buying them separately. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about such upgrade set. Do you usually use them? in your builds in whatever scale, it doesn't matter, it can be 172, 142, 132, just write it here in the comment section below. 
If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also help us financially by pressing the donate button on our website. And I will see you in the next video review or live video session as usual. Bye.